I started with a group of librarians who got involved with projects such as Congressman Holt's Einstein's Alley, the New Jersey Business Incubators, and Innovation Zones. It became clear that these projects didn't have an information infrastructure and that libraries could best provide one. This program is spurring economic growth in New Jersey and strengthening high-tech initiatives, as you will hear from some of our business and academic partners today. We live in a knowledge-based economy. In a knowledge-based economy, knowledge is the way in which you succeed. The way in which you obtain that knowledge is critical. If you do not have access to the most cutting edge information, the most important strategic information in your particular field, then you don't have access to the business opportunities that are available to those that do. And that will happen only, if and only if the small business people have access to that knowledge, and that is really what the New Jersey Knowledge Initiative is all about. When I pulled out the uh uh, the Pennsylvania Library Association, which is sort of a sister organization to me, and the article from their president this year was, why don't we have a knowledge and initiative in Pennsylvania? Look at what they have done now in New Jersey by creating this knowledge initiative, creating this where, where public academic libraries are actually equalizing the resources that people can get in terms of information. Because we are the model, and as someone said, you know, it's sort of like database envy we're creating out there because we're the, we are the, you know, the model of the country to create now such a unique program. And I cannot, I can't overestimate that. I think we are a unique program by having those resources. It's a program like the Knowledge Initiative that truly equalizes people's access to information and therefore equalizes access to opportunities. This initiative has brought thousands of high-end electronic journals and other resources in the fields of science, technology, business, medicine, uh, to our faculty and students. Most institutions could never have hoped to provide such a rich array of important research level materials without such a program. Our commitment to the technology and biotech industries is stronger than ever. The Corzine administration will continue to promote the industry and create an environment to encourage future investment, research, and growth. And to that end, that's quite a bit of weight and burden to carry. But I believe that the project that we're talking about today is going to be one of the underpinnings of the success of the Corzine vision and the Secretary's commitment to carrying that vision out. The data available through the Knowledge Initiative provides companies with a competitive advantage that they might not otherwise have. A company locating Jersey with access to the Knowledge Initiative has a distinct advantage over companies from other states that have to buy their information at prices ranging from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars. It is free through the New Jersey Knowledge Initiative. We are somewhat of a success story. We started out three years ago with three employees. We've now grown in size to almost 20 people. Um, the company was co-founded by our uh, Chief Scientific Officer, Kumbi Shekhtar, and Nobel Laureate Gunter Blobel. We are commercializing a technology that they co-discovered, um, and it is a platform technology. It's broadly applicable about, um, over very many areas, so we can't just take our focus and only get four or five journals. We pretty much, if we're starting a new client project, somebody comes to us and we have to become instant experts in this field. And the New Jersey Knowledge Initiative has been incredibly helpful in giving us the scientific resources to gain that expertise. We have all the knowledge and tools in the big dark warehouse. And we know it's there. And if we have the time and money to access it, we want to do that but sometimes it's just too expensive. It's lucky that we have Knowledge Initiative fill this need so that we have the access of all the great knowledge and tools. Just when we, like me, can only afford a small flashlight in that dark room, they turn on the light. <laughs> so now I see all the tools and knowledge that's available to me.